adding small details like an arrow here to indicate movement is very, very useful. You'll find symbols for details such as that under library and details. And if we go into arrows, you click on the first arrow, that's an example. You can just scroll down through and choose. So the one you were looking at a moment ago was that one. We've put others to indicate pedestrian movement and barriers and sight lines and all sorts of other types of arrows. And of course, you can make your own and put them into that particular folder. In a case like this where, uh, let's zoom out a little, where a vehicle will park in this area and people will move from the house. We haven't got any information on the doors and positioning, but clearly movement will be down and movement will be up. So what we want to do is we could copy and then rotate, if you like. Let's do that. We'll select that one. We can copy it and move it from there. If we put ortho on, we can move it straight up like so. And then we can right click to finish. Then we can pick it again and right click and pick rotate. Click on the bottom here. Because ortho is on, we can rotate correctly, then pick it and then move it and then finally move it up again to get where we want. But that's tedious. That's about six or eight individual steps. Let's erase that one and let's use the mirror command instead. So we can select the object we want to mirror, right click mirror. And if we set the first point of a mirror line through here, and then right click with copy and do that, then the, uh, the um, arrow indicator is mirrored and we can just do that much, much quicker. So do experiment with options that pop up with the, when you're trying to do things, right mouse options are often there and help enormously in speeding drafting.